Hello and welcome to the first update of my untitled game. Today I'm going to switch the first person controller for third person controller and start the networking system. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and follow the development on Twitter. In the previous devlog I created a first person controller and a special weapon that generate plants. After I worked down some gameplay mechanics, I decided that first person is not what I was looking for. So I decided to try third person. I looked at some competitive games like Fortnite or Minimum and I started to sketch some basic gameplay. The first thing we need for a third person shooter is a character model for the player. I took this disorder. Then I used these simple weapons by Kenny. I also wanted to improve the visual effect of my game, so I created these new muzzles, trail and impact particle system. The first thing to implement in our character controller is movement. We take input from keyboard or controller. We use the input to move our player forward, backward, right, left. The second thing to do is rotate the player, and in competitive third-person shooter the camera follows the player rotation, so we take horizontal input to rotate along the y-axis, vertical input to rotate the camera along the x-axis. Here's our early test, don't ask me why the foot are fixed on the ground. So our player moves, but we have to make it more alive giving animation. Considering that I want to make it multiplayer, I decided to create an animation controller that works great with the lowest number of informations, which are position and rotation. We use the distance between the previous position and current position to understand if it moves. We use the direction between previous and current and the rotation of the player to get an angle, which will give us the direction of the movement and so the animation forward backward, right and left. Finally, the distance between previous and current will give us the velocity of the movement, work and running. I used a blend tree to blend the character animation. To break the monotony of the current grass placer, I added more 3D models of grasses, but a more consistent variety will be added in a future update. We have our third person controller, now we have to make it work over the net. For the networking I use photon Unity networking, which I found both easy and powerful. First thing to do is to synchronize player position and rotation. Then we attach the animation controller and as explained earlier, it works without any additional information. Now, synchronized grass object is quite challenging and I came up with this cheap solution. Send to the network just a vector tree of the position of the impact. A scheduler will create a queue of grass objects to place. You check near objects which are already synchronized over the net and will remove them if they are of the opposite team, otherwise the placement of the type of grass is left to the grass placer because it is not important to sync the style of the grass. At this point, to properly test the networking multiplayer, I called a couple of friends and played a bit. The 
That's all for now. There are several things to be improved and many other features to be implemented. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, follow the development on Twitter. See you in the next update. Cheers!